Wix Studio, the platform for agencies and enterprises to manage clients and projects with max efficiency. Sharing Wix's SEO tech to help you drive growth. Fix errors, waste, and issues in a couple of clicks. Get alerted whenever you're off track. Sign up at trueclicks.com. So uh, before we start, I need to teach you uh, one thing which has nothing to do with the topic my, of my presentation. Yeah, <laughs> as we see, it's hard. So I prepared a little tip for you. So uh, I think we, we could do it together. So uh, on my sign, I will count Wojciech. Three, two, one. Wojciech, yeah, you are amazing. Okay. Um, as you already know, my name is Wojciech. I'm a, I'm a SEO R&D specialist in Delante. So uh, what does that mean? Uh, my job is making SEO uh, better, faster, cheaper, or just easier. Uh, it often works together. So uh, to do SEO effectively, uh, you, need, you need data, and to get data, you need uh, tools. And here is a little problem, because uh, the cost of uh, SEO tools uh, are getting more expensive year, year over, over year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so before you spend a fortune on, uh, on, uh, on this or another SEO Swift knife, be sure that you're getting most value from the tools, from the data uh, you already have for free, uh, for, for free uh, which I mean uh, Google Search Console data. But you can't do it uh, using Search Console itself. It's paradoxical, but it, but it is, because the UI of Search Console uh, has some limitation. For example, uh, you couldn't see or export more than 1,000 rows of, rows of data. Uh, so if you have a bigger website or uh, a e-commerce platform and you appear in search results on more than uh, more, more keywords than 1,000, it could be not enough for, for you. Uh, another limitation uh, is that you I could co you couldn't combine uh, keywords and URLs. You must check it manually one by one, it's, which is uh, time consuming. So uh, to deal with those limitations, uh, you had basically three options. First one is setting up BigQuery export and Paul will uh, tell you more about, uh, about it. Second one is Search Console API. Uh, which is very good, very powerful, but uh, you must be a wizard to work with it uh, effectively. Yeah, because uh, I don't understand what that what that symbol symbols means. I found the screen on the uh, Google documentation. It works better or better or worse. You must be a wizard to to work with with that. And uh, you could also use uh, Looker Studio, which look like that. Uh, which I think is something like drag and drop editor for uh, not only for Search Console data, uh, but also for another uh, source of data. But uh, with uh, a little work and a little of love, Locker Studio could look also like that. So uh, all of all three these options had some pros, some cons. Uh, don't please don't read it. It's uh, only a proof that I had idea what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, all those options are good, but in my opinion, uh, Looker Studio is the easiest and quickest to start. Uh, if you uh, don't working with uh, BigQuery or Search Console uh, API before, uh, start with Looker Studio. Uh, it could be the better uh, the better way to. Uh, get the most value from Search Console data. So uh, I'm gonna show you uh, four examples uh, of tools you can build using Looker Studio, uh, Search Console, sometimes uh, sometimes also with Google uh, Google Sheets. Uh, first one is uh, keyword tracking. It's the basic for every SEO project. 
So uh, using uh, pivot tables, uh, I love pivot tables. So uh, we can making something something like that and see uh, average position of uh, for specific keywords every day, every month, every week. Aggregation is totally upon uh, upon us. And I know the uh, average position in Search Console is a tricky metric. Uh, if you don't trust it, so okay, we can we could switch to impression or number or clicks, or we can also use uh, URLs instead of keywords, or even group of URLs if we had a large a large web website. So I prepared. A uh, step-by-step uh, guide how to uh, configure this uh, kind of report in Looker Studio. And if you don't uh, use Looker Studio before, I think it's a uh, best. Uh, it, it's a very good place to uh, to start and start to learn how, how to how to use uh, Looker Studio. Um, another tool, it's uh, I called it Update Checker. Uh, I made it. Uh, in September, I think, and it's very, very simple. It's basically a graph with a number of daily impression with these uh, lines, which represents uh, date of start and uh, released the specific Google, Google updates. Uh, I publish it on the um, Facebook group for uh, Polish SEO community, and one guy sent me this with this comment, uh, it means, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it uh, allow you to very quickly spot the correlation between, between uh, times of update and uh, impact on your website, on traffic on your website. So it's another record science, it's a very simple tool, but as, uh, as you see, it, uh, it's very, very effective. So it's basically, we have also a table with uh, name and dates of uh, every every specific Google updates. And the data source for this is uh, just spreadsheet. And you can put in the, those spreadsheets whenever you want. Uh, so for example, uh, if you're making any huge change on your website, introducing new menu, uh, changing the, te the, the template for, for your blog post, uh, you get you can uh, put uh, information about uh, about it in a Google spreadsheet and see also uh, how this change make an impact on your website. So if you use allow some uh, filter option to see to see this graph for a specific uh, group of URLs, you get something like a split tool for split test. It's not so uh, so science science based like Search Pilot. But uh, search pilot is gargantuic cost. Has gargantuic cost, and uh, you had you can have simpli simplified version for for free. So uh, to do it, you must learn how to blend data in Looker Studio, which is not so uh, intuitive. But uh, there is a lot of uh, information about that uh, on the internet already. So uh, the third idea uh, is finding content ideas. Uh, in, uh, in Looker Studio, when we uh, set up the uh, Search Console data, uh, we can use a simple filter with uh, three, uh, three rules. One of them is for uh, containing query, con query containing uh, questions, and uh, filter the, the question which uh, has uh, some impression, and uh, we show up on the uh, on the uh, distant position. In the result, uh, we get the table with a few questions, and uh, the uh, the goal here is get those questions on which uh, our website is showed, but the, on the distant position. So it's an uh, indicator that uh, we don't cover this question this question well enough. So uh, we can send uh, it to our content team and uh, hey guys, maybe we we should write something about uh, about about uh, this question uh, to uh, to rank better. And uh, you could uh, you could also do it um, on a um, search console, but in Looker Studio you need to do it once 
and uh, you could uh, schedule delivery on your email. So once a week, you could, you could get this list of questions. So it's kind of uh, automatization. Yeah, uh, and the, the last one, uh, it's a cannibalization detector. Uh, Search Console is for me a very good, uh, very good way to spot the uh, problem with cannibalization. But um, yeah, but uh, doing it manually, keyword by keyword, is also very time, uh, very time consuming. Uh, so uh, we can uh, do it in Looker Studio. It's not the best, uh, the best dashboard. Still working on it. But uh, we had basically uh, two tables here. Uh, first one contains a list of keywords and count of uh, URLs uh, appearing on this uh, on this keyword and total number uh, total number uh, of clicks. So it allow you to uh, easy to uh, to spot on which keywords you had a problem with with uh, cannibalization. And the second table is. Uh, pivot table, of course, when uh, you can uh, see which specific uh, URLs are uh, fighting on the position for for specific uh, specific uh, specific keyword. And from that moment, uh, I will probably export those data to Google Sheets and uh, make an annotations uh, what we what we need to do with uh, with the specific URLs to deal with this uh, this uh, cannibalization. So uh, key takeaways uh, from me: start with data you uh, already have for free and uh, test if your idea for uh, for uh, another another tools works. Make a simple and useful. A tool for your team, uh, not only for for you, and spend the amount, the, the time and money you you save on having fun, like we do in Delante. So, thank you very much. Monthly reporting making you want to shove sharp things up your nose? Try Dragon Metrics, the all in one SEO software with mind blowing reporting tools. Demand Sphere. Limitless visual insights from the SERPs. Unlimited dashboards and users. Easy to use and easy to scale your growth to new levels.